last cold start. Well guys, I've got some bad news and i got some good news. The bad news is I sold both dark horses and this is my auto that I'm driving for the very last time. I'm just taking it to the shop and I'm going to do an oil change on it and install the Whipple open air boxes. Uh, the good news is I sold both dark horses. I actually had them both listed for a while and the manual sold months ago and uh, I went to a good home and this one's also going to a good home. I've had them both listed for a while but nobody would give me the asking price and I finally gave in and I said hey I'm just gonna get rid of them especially after the hurricane hit I'm never able to drive them anymore um, they just basically were parked I did what I needed to do with them I've had them both for well I had the manual for a year and then I had this one for almost a year I will say this one thing I will never buy a new car again because um, the dealerships are just ridiculous i mean when you buy a car especially when i bought this one um i had to pay ten thousand over sticker price because you could not find these anywhere um you know only certain dealerships could order and they can only order one blah blah, blah. so i paid ten thousand over sticker price and then six months later that same dealership I'm not going to mention any names um e-golf and brevard um six months later they lowballed me 20,000 under sticker price and they're like you need to remove your turbos and I was like I already told you this multiple times it's not turbos it's a Whipple supercharger and this car is actually at 958 wheel horsepower um, they didn't want it uh, with the Whipple obviously they want to keep you know the warranty especially if this is a stage 2 and it's turned up to the max so they did want me to uh, take the Whipple off but I was not gonna lose $30,000 on each car so um, I'm actually still losing about 40 grand on both cars that's not including the Whipple superchargers that's just the car itself so about 20,000 per car I'm losing uh, with le within less than a year so I will never buy a new car again it's just a waste of money that 40 grand I could have used for you know to you know keep keep working on Viczilla or whatever that's Actually, where I'm going with this is I will be getting back to my old projects like Vigzilla needs a transmission. I need to get into that because that's actually what I do. Buying a new car, anybody can go and buy a new car. Nothing breaks on it. There's nothing to fix. You know, um, I did supercharge them, which was awesome. Uh, got to experience it. Double the horsepower. It, these cars are insane. Scary. I've had some close calls. Um, you know, this stage two doesn't have a speed limiter, so this thing will go over 200. I've, in Mexico, I've hit like over 180 and uh, I got sketchy, but so I'm gonna miss these cars. And uh, like I said, they're both going to a good home. This one is getting picked up tomorrow. As far as the hurricane, uh, it hit us pretty hard, but we didn't have any crazy damage at the house. Uh, the basement flooded a little bit, a couple inches of water, no big deal not even gonna claim it other people lost their homes and everything else and we've been helping as much as we can uh, there's still people without power it's almost been three weeks or so um, people still without power and water and stuff like that people are still trapped and right now tonight like last night was like 30 degrees outside and people are sleeping in tents it's insane I, I never thought I would see this in my life but helping as much as we can like I said delivering water supplies everything like that and um, that's why I haven't been making videos, partially because I just didn't have time to pick up a camera. But today um, I have to get this oil change done and, um, you know, drive this thing for, for one last time. And as you can see, partially the road was missing. I had to build it up. This is just part of it, guys. And uh, like it's been almost three weeks. This city is destroyed. Like, my favorite roads are gone. Lake Lure, pretty much gone. I mean, it will be rebuilt, but it's gonna take years. So, it's sad, it's sad. I am sort of looking for uh, the dark horses or even GTs on the auctions because that's what I like to do. I like to buy a wrecked car and bring it back to life. That's actually what my channel is kind of about. So, you know, um, that's another reason why I had to let these go. Um, it will be easier without a payment, for sure, because uh, just the payments on the cars, it was like 
three thousand dollars a month plus insurance was like 500 for both a month and So as you can see, this thing is so dirty and um, it hasn't been washed in about a month. So it's going to get detailed later today, but look at this beauty. I'm going to miss opening this hood. Got a couple signatures here. Um, if you follow my channel, you know what those are. So first things first, I do want to put the open air boxes from Whipple. I've had them for a while, haven't had a chance to install them. What it does is it gets rid of the OEM boxes and uh, you just reuse the Whipple filters and everything. Um, this car does have about 6,000 miles on it, a little bit over, and this will be a third oil change, by the way, and I do use 5W50 Motorcraft because that's what's been tested for years and has been working. You guys are welcome to use anything else. Besides that, you can use water, whatever you like, but if you want to use what's been tested for years, stick to Motorcraft 5W50, full synthetic. You can get the, the oil off Amazon or... You can order it online, whatever you need. The filters actually look great for 6,000 miles. I will blow them out, clean them up a little bit, but this is a little over 6,000 miles on the filters. Very nice. I personally like the stock air boxes better, but this is for people that are bitching about sound and they want to hear that whine a little bit, which uh, the Roush guys are like, hey, Roush whines. Yeah, because it's starving for air. It's such a small supercharger, it has no airflow, and it's, the thing's begging for air. Remember, sound is not making power. These boxes are a pretty simple install. Um, took about 10 minutes to do them all. These gaskets are already actually pre-cut perfectly the size, so you don't have to trim anything. It's just as easy as removing old boxes, putting the new ones in. Uh, like I said before, I like the original boxes better, but this should uh, create more sound for the people that want the sound. I'm not sure if there's any horsepower gains, but definitely it's gonna get more air in there, um, and it does seal it to the hood because of the gasket here and uh, that's pretty much it so on to the oil change and don't forget we're located in Arden North Carolina and if you need a Whipple with installation or just installation hit us up hit me up on Instagram or check out our website at mtechsolutionsinc.com and uh, we can get you the Whipple install it whether it's a Ford Dodge Chevy if it's available from Whipple we can get it pretty quick and installation takes about one day Sometimes two days. My one complaint about changing oil on these dark horses or the 24 and up Mustangs is the filters up here and then there's no, no drain hole or anything because when you remove the filter, you either soak this belly pan or you have to remove it, which is like 85 screws. And if you remove it every time, these little screws right here, the seven millimeter screws, they will snap and break on you. So you're gonna have to replace them. So if I was still keeping this car, I don't want to do it because it's sold, but I would just cut a little hole right here. Just when you remove the filter, it just drains. You don't have to remove this belly pan every time. That or even just leave it off completely. And remember, don't be cheap on oil. Change it more often than needed. I do it every 2,000 miles, but I am close to 1,000 wheel horsepower on this car. So this is the third oil change on this one at 6,300 miles. A lot of people say in the comments that I'm just wasting money, but always remember that oil changes are cheaper than engines. Believe me, tested it before. Everything under the car still looks great. No leaks anywhere. Everything is 100% dry. Um, this thing is uh, in really good shape, but this car is completely stocked besides the stage 2 Whipple and um, suspension and everything if you upgrade the rear suspension and uh, a few other mods you could be over a thousand wheel horsepower and if you can hook this thing up on the track this thing would, would run like a low nine no problem at all a lot of people don't believe that but this car did actually make 958 wheel horsepower 
with E30 mix in it. So, I'm gonna miss it. This is how many screws you have to remove to get that shield off. And then there's uh, five other plastic clips that you remove, which I already installed. And now I gotta put these 84 screws. It's not 84, but it's a lot for a little. The 2024 and up Mustangs, they hold 10 quarts of oil. I usually get a 12 pack like this off Amazon, or you can order it from your local dealer. Usually they have it in stock. Um, and it's five, again, it's 5W50 Motorcraft, and I use the Motorcraft filter as well. So that completes the oil change on this 24 Dark Horse. Um, I want to thank everybody that were involved in both of my Dark Horses, the manual and the auto. They, they're both the same color, same color blower. Uh, thanks to Whipple. Um, also, I've got a few signatures here that I'm leaving on. Uh, this is the Mustang King, Jared from Lethal Performance, Ed Badillo, Badillo Engineering, Gary Patterson from Shelby, and then Ken from Palm Beach Dino. All four of those signatures are very special to me. I wish I could keep the lid. I just don't have another lid to put on, but I'm going to leave it. Um, I didn't get Dustin Whipple to sign it because he's on the other side of the country and uh, his signature should have been right there. Maybe one day the new owner will track down Dustin Whipple and get a signature from him. But that's going to be it. I'm going to take it, fill it up, and then get it cleaned up, get it ready for pickup tomorrow. So this is a sad day for me, but we're going to move on to new things, 2026, 2027, 2028. It's coming in hot, so stay tuned. To reset your oil life is actually very simple. You just go to settings and then vehicle and scroll all the way down, all the way down. And then it says oil life. It's 100%. I reset it, but to reset it, you just click and hold. And then it resets it. <laughs> Just filled it up for one last time in a full tank. Need to get some windshield washer fluid. Uh, the air, the tire pressure light is on because I'm running Megan Thompson's in the rear and uh, I'm running 22 PSI. Um, I may put a little bit more because this thing is going on a, probably a 1500 mile road trip tomorrow. So I'm gonna fill it up. Um, I'm passing, I'm about to be passing Blue Ridge Parkway and that is closed indefinitely, I'm pretty sure, and um, it would be nice to take this thing on the Blue Ridge Parkway one time, but thanks to uh, the hurricane, uh, that's no longer a thing for us, so that sucks, but I'm gonna miss this thing so much.
to it so close to the customer truck, it's not even funny. Wow, dude. What do you think it's gonna take to get this cleared up so people can get in? Oh, my focus. Uh, probably a day yeah. with a bunch of people. I was hoping the tree would fall on this thing. Can't get the keys broken. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Yo, the tree that I would always think would fall never falls. Yeah, no, me too. That's the one that creaks. Yeah. Oh, are these things damaged? Ooh. It's not good.
this is insane. It hasn't flooded like this in a very long time. There's a whole container here. Just chilling. Somebody was walking around here. No way. No way. Yo, that thing is moving like crazy. Igor, carefully. You can put one in one room each room, each room. You can put one in each room. 